Hey guys, even here, and in today's video I got quite a few of very interesting bodybuilding updates for you guys And the first one we got is Wesley Wissers And we can get the idea what his physique looks like at 13 weeks out of Mr. Olympia And the conversation about Wesley Wissers recently has always been about Whether he can challenge the Mr. Olympia champion Chris Bumster and potentially defeat him and become the new Mr. Olympia champion now, the last time we saw a physique update from Wesley Wissers, it kind of seemed like one of his pecs was a little bit bigger than the other one. Or should I say, one pack looks smaller than the other one. I don't know if you guys remember this physique update, but take a look at it. Do you see what I'm saying? At this point, I thought maybe it's just a weird angle. I thought that was it. Or the photo was taken in the mirror, something like that. But take a look at this photo, it's a screenshot uh, from his YouTube video that he posted a couple of days ago This is the most recent shot of him And here, things look the same Left pack, right here, looks significantly smaller than the right one Now, I wouldn't say that the right one got bigger, I would say that the left one got significantly smaller Wesley is sort of known as the new Arnold Schwarzenegger His physique does resemble Arnold's a lot Especially in the way he's posing and especially the way his physique is shaped Like what muscles are more dominant than the others And in his case, he's definitely the most dominant in the arms, especially biceps And then I would say chest as well now, in order to make a comparison, I didn't want to take a look at the photos of Wesley from stage Because when he is shredded and dehydrated and peaked for the, for the stage It's not gonna look the same as when he's prepping But I found this photo, it's from his Arnold Classic prep And here we can see clearly what his chest looked like earlier this year In his prep for the Arnold Classic And do you guys see any asymmetry? Because I don't, I don't think I do one pack is maybe a little bit more separated, but that's just lighting. As far as size, they were perfectly symmetrical. So what the hell is going on here and here? What is happening? Did he have a pack tear and he wasn't able to train? His left side or his left pack? I don't know about that. There are videos of himself training his upper body normally, so I don't think that's it. Is it possible that this is just bad lighting? Again, two photos, a couple of weeks apart, and both of them had bad lightings that makes one of his pecs look smaller? Oof, I have trouble believing that. I have tried. I don't think I can buy that. I think something is going on with that pec, with that left pec of his. There is, however, one thing that we know for sure that was confirmed by West Louisers. And this could be a pretty solid indicator of what might have happened So here you can see Wesley Wisters at the Arnold Classic stage a couple of years ago Not sure exactly which year this was, but a couple of years ago And take a look at his calves right here They are looking pretty big, especially for a tall guy His calves are looking massive here And this is what his calves looked like at the last Arnold Classic And he confirmed that he has nerve damage going on in the calves so at least we know this, this happened to him, his calves melted away because of the nerve damage He confirmed this on his IG, I made a video about it when it happened I don't remember exactly what caused the nerve damage, but apparently it happened So I don't know if it makes sense, but can somebody be prone to nerve damage like that? Honestly, I have no idea, if you guys know anything more about that, you can just tell us down below in the comment section But that happened then, and now one of his pecs is definitely looking smaller But I don't know, man, it could potentially be just the lighting I know it's a crazy coincidence, but maybe it is that, I don't know, we'll see at a Mr. Olympia stage But if that is the case, like if one of his pecs looks much smaller than the other one, like he does in these photos I mean, this is classic physique we're talking about, aesthetics are like the most important thing Kevin Leveroni got away with a pack tear, but that was bodybuilding, he was super freaky everywhere else In classic, it's all about aesthetics, it's all about the shape and the symmetry And if he shows up on that stage with a glaring asymmetry, like this Then pff, I don't think he's gonna play well at all What do you guys think? What do you think this is? Is it just the lighting? Is it the pack tear? Or a nerve damage? Whatever you guys think it is, tell me down below Alright, next up we got Rafael Brandao with a little physique update And again, 13 weeks out of Mr. Olympia 
And guys, did we forget about this guy? I mean, nobody's talking about Rafael Brandao when they're talking about their top 6, top 8 Mr. Olympia predictions. But when he was competing, when he was doing the Arnold Classic, a lot of people actually talked about him as the potential for top 6 at the Mr. Olympia. And if you guys remember, he was really good on that stage. And Tyler Madden even said that he's one of the guys that, like, he hasn't seen this in a long time, but the guy has no weak poses. All of his poses are very good. So at the Arnold Classic, he was very, very firmly in that third spot. As far as challenging Samson for second, I don't think that was a conversation at all. Samson, in my opinion, is on a different level. Yeah, sure, Raphael held his own against these monsters right here, but still, he needs a little bit more improvements. Maybe another offseason, just like his coach Neil Hill said back then, if you guys remember, he said that they need like another year and a half to make the improvements, to get him as big as these top guys. But even with this size that he brought to the Arnold Classic, and like with his completeness and beautiful shape and really crazy structure, he was still very much in conversation of uh, being top 6 at the Mr. Olympia. He qualified for the Mr. Olympia by winning the Arnold Classic a little bit later, which wasn't exactly his best edition ever, his conditioning wasn't very good, and since then, pretty much nothing, like radio silence, and I'm assuming he was probably off for a little while, he worked on recovery, on, on his health and so on, and it seems like he's back at it. Now, as far as this physique update, it looks like he bulked up and started cutting a couple of weeks ago, maybe. So he's definitely holding some fat in the stomach area, which is, for him, it's very normal. That's the area where he, as far as I noticed, stores the most fat in. I mean, he stores a lot in that area, which is not very common amongst the top bodybuilders. Usually they're storing their fat, like, in the lower back or the glutes or hamstrings. And most of them don't even get this fat in the offseason, but, you know, he's different. Maybe he tried to push for, for some more size in the meantime. And now he's coming back down slowly, but conditioning is not an issue for Rafael Brandau. Neil Hill spoke about this, and he, also Rafael, spoke about this. Like, they were dieting down at like a thousand grams of carbs, and he had those high days very often. Low carbs for him was like 400 grams, and a medium day was like 600, so he can get shredded easily. He, his metabolism is crazy fast. The problem with him is, you know, adding the muscle, but he also proved that he can put on muscle, because this year at the Ariano Classic, he was definitely much bigger than ever before. So I'm expecting some improvements for the Mr. Olympia as well, but I hope he's actually gonna bring some really good conditioning, because he kinda didn't bring it at the Arnold Classic Brazil. That means that he's not exactly super consistent. But if he brings the same thing, the same package that he brought to the Arnold Classic, what do you guys think right now at a Mr. Olympia? After all these guys qualified, if guys like William Bonek, like Nathan Diasha, like Bekrus Tabandi, like Nexila, all these guys, if they show up, can Rafael really beat them all? Can he really be in that top 6, top 7 range? He is not the biggest guy, pound for pound, like for his frame he could be bigger, but he should not be underestimated, because with his structure and shape and aesthetics, he looks better than a lot of guys who are bigger than him. With those proportions, small waist, small joints, he creates an illusion of looking better than he really does. And bodybuilding, after all, is an illusion. So we definitely shouldn't sleep on this guy, I think he can bring something very impressive. If he's a little bit bigger, and a little bit more conditioned even, phew, I don't know, he can be in the top 6, top 7. We'll see, but he's definitely in contention. What do you guys think? Alright, next up, we got a little physique update from Beef Stew at 4 days out of Vancouver Pro, where he, in my opinion, is the favorite to win that show, especially if he cuts his hair which I don't think he's gonna do, it's just a joke, he can win even with the hair, but I honestly don't think it would hurt him if he cut it off, it would definitely help in my opinion, if you just trimmed it out and make it tidy. Anyways, as far as his conditioning right now, I mean, he looks flat, I would say, for his standards, like, do I see, you know, deep separation, the kind of separation that, let's say, William Bonac has, for example? No, no, even his chest, you can see, like, it's, it's lean, it's definitely lean, but, like, the quality, the depth of the separation is not quite there. However, like, he has the best structure, probably, the most size of all the guys doing that show. So I think he can. He most likely will win it. And here he says that he's getting sick of fish, and he's calling himself fish, too. So uh, he, I, I guess he's trying to get super lean by doing a only fish diet. 
he's going old school on this and i think it might help i mean i don't think there's anything magical about fish itself i think if you're going like super low with fats and you're eating some kind of white fish that has no fat then you can be like very accurate with your macros like if you're eating chicken it has some fat beef of course but fish certain white fish can be only protein so if you're truly pushing it for conditioning it can definitely help well maybe there is also some kind of magical thing about fish that makes your skin look thinner i don't know how or why but there might be something to it i mean does his skin look thinner right now i would say his condition looks better than ever sure but at four days out he's probably as flat as he can be so if he carbs up heavily in those four days and gets fuller his skin is gonna get tighter and muscle is gonna be pushing through it so maybe we'll see some kind of separation of beef stew that we haven't really seen so far but anyways if he shows up the way he was at the new york pro for example still in my opinion he wins the vancouver pro he's definitely the favorite in my opinion whatever you guys think tell me down below all right and finally we got a little physique update from mo fuda and still he doesn't want to announce which show he's doing so officially we don't know which one it is but I think the rumors are true. It's probably gonna be Chicago Pro in one and a half weeks from now. And I gotta say, his conditioning looks probably the best that he has ever gotten in. And I don't know if he was ever this lean and this, this this hard and this full as well. Like the separation of the chest and like the fullness in the legs and the separation of the shoulders. I mean, he's Egyptian. His physique definitely reminds me of somebody like Hassan Mustafa, maybe. He has that similar quality, especially like in the chest and the shoulders. But this guy is definitely more proportionate than uh, Hassan Mustafa. Like his waist is very, very small. Uh, I think they are similar height. I don't know, but I would guess so. Hassan is just bigger. I mean, the guy is a tank, but this guy has more of an aesthetic flow to his physique. Like super small waist, super small joints. Like the quads are popping out like crazy. The arms are super massive. The shoulders are really wide, unlike Hassan. I think this guy has a ton of potential. And he's doing Chicago Pro. As of right now, I only know that uh, Vlad Suhoruchko is doing that show. And as far as the other guys, Americans, I don't know if anybody else is doing that show. So it's going to be probably an easy show for him to win and qualify for the Mr. Olympia. And maybe, potentially, make a statement over there. We don't know what he's going to look like on stage next to the other top guys. But even if it doesn't happen this year, I think in a couple of years... This bodybuilder right here, Mo Fuda, is gonna be one of the top guys in the IVB. That's the way I see it. Maybe I'm wrong. If you guys think otherwise, feel free to tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, guys, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.